Week three in the books here now. I win again for the record. I don't know if you knew that, but I won again. Um, the game that put me over the top actually was, let me see the game that I think it was a one night game between Washington and uh, the Commanders and uh, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. So I, I had Washington points. <laughs> Crazy, huh? You have Washington on the points in our pick on thing, but you were taking Cincy. To your, win. Uh, to win. Your five picks. Your top. No, five no, no, picks. no, 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 that game. We didn't make the list. The game, I know I had Buffalo in there. I had the Buffalo game on the Monday game. Yeah, that was no. like one of your no. only saving graces. No, I, I thought since, since it won the game, though, but I didn't think they'd cover. Wow, you, 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 you got a quarterback, buddy. We'll get there in a second. We'll get there in a second. Uh, so I am now up 3 nothing against you right now. So I, like I told you, I'm dominating you this year. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a t- the tide is turning, buddy. You've beat me the last couple of years on the, on this uh, best bets competition we've been doing for, a long, for quite a while now. Um, but we are now going to invade week number four. As you guys know, when we do this, we do uh, – we, 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 we give you advice on what, what what bet to pick. It could be it could be a, a team, each of the teams, or you could bet over under on each game. And that's when we how we do it. First game first. And again, we're not actually typically we typically we stream, typically we live stream this uh this this uh this podcast, but because of the weather outside, um I don't want to risk uh that being an issue. So all right. Anyway, so first game, Thursday night football, huge game. Cowboys at Giants. Cowboys five and a half one favorites over under forty five and a half. Zachary, what you got? Man, I feel so good for the Cowboys. They finally get a good a get right game, and you know couldn't happen to a better team than a beat down. So give me the Cowboys. I'm gonna tell you something right now. They better win this game because if the Cowboys fall to one and three, you see the schedule in the next couple weeks. It's insane. If they fall to the Giants, I don't care what their schedule is. They are done for the season. Oh, well, question. And and the schedule also dictates that. The next three games after the Giants game is um in no order. It's a combination of the, of the, the, the Texans, the Lions, and the Niners. Well, I mean, the Texans haven't done jack squat yet, so yeah. I wouldn't really be worried about them. Look, Dallas will win this game, but I'm taking a safe route here. I'm, I'm taking the under in this game. The under. Yeah, how many points has Dallas been giving up lately? Yeah, but they're playing the Giants. Giants can't score for shit. You know that. We'll see. Daniel Jones looked pretty good the other day. He did. Well, Malik Neighbors are pretty good. Daniel Jones better play for Malik Neighbors. I gotta see more. For every, for every, I, I was telling, who, who else I told the other day. For every really good Daniel Jones game you get, the very next week we'll have a shit game. So that's the pattern. The entire career. So we'll see. All right, let's go to Sunday. Saints and Falcons. Falcons, the two-point favorites over under is 42. Zach, what you got? Uh, I like the Saints here. Falcons haven't shown me anything. Honestly, I think they're they're getting ready to look to Michael Penix because Kirk Cousins isn't doing anything for his $100 million. Definitely not getting the, the bang for the buck, obviously, there. Um, I like the Saints, too, also. But I also like the over on this game at uh, 42. I think both these Saints – um. First two weeks scored all the points. Obviously, Philadelphia's defense shut them down, kept them to 12 points. I think you'll get medium there at some point. Um, I, I definitely see a 27 24 game here um, between two teams that could score points. Atlanta could score points to all the two. Right? Let's see if Kirk is going to wake up. So, going to be over in this game and in a very underrated rivalry in the NFL. All right. How about Rams at Bears? Uh, Bears are three point favorites over under 41, Zach. Look, I don't care. If they have to throw to only linemen, Matthew Stafford would make it work. All right. The fact they are underdogs against Caleb Williams, who until last week hadn't even thrown, what, a touchdown pass? Yeah. Dude, dude is missing missing the boat right now as, a, as the number one pick. Agreed. You had a loaded team that Justin Fields even looked good on. And the te- team thought they were getting an upgrade. So, yeah, it's not looking good in Chicago right now. So you sticking the Rams? Absolutely. You know, I might be the only man in America right now picking the Bears win this game. And I agree with you. Kellen does not look good. He's had moments, but it doesn't look good most, most of the way. Um, I feel like he's doing too much. He's just doing too much. He just, gotta sell. He, he just looks settled in the pocket. I don't know if it's, it's off the line's a problem. I don't know if it's him just being anxious in there, but. That being said, best bet for me, give me the over on this one. 
I think this will obviously won't be a high scoring game, but I think this could be a 24 21, 24 20 type of game here. So, all right, next one, you have the probably the game of the week here. I mean, who would have thought? Vikings at Packers, uh, unbeaten Vikings, rather. Uh, Packers are two and a half point favorites. The over under is 43 and a half. Zach, what you got? All right. I get it. Malik Willis, totally different quarterback now that he has an actual head coach with an offensive sk- system for him. But Sam Darnold looks legit. I get it. He's only usually good for three weeks, but I want to stick with stick with the Vikings. They got too many weapons on offense right now. They do. They do. Um, but as I stated yesterday on the, on the um Hola podcast, um, what my biggest takeaway of week three and really week two as well, too, is that I am very impressed with this Packers team. How they've been playing around without Jordan Love. And I, I know granted they play, played the Colts and the uh the Titans, two of the worst teams in the league right now. But the fact that, that the team around Malik Willis and, and look, Malik Willis is not, not, we don't I don't consider him a, a really good quarterback anyway. But I realized just how much talent that team has around Jordan Love. When Jordan Love was back, I look, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make a, I made a bold statement on the podcast last night. And I'll say it on this podcast now. I think the Packers are gonna go to the MC title game. I, I, one of my two picks to the MC title game. I, I'm oh. ten toes down now. I, I am so impressed with this roster. Jordan Love back will be back. Jordan Love could play this Sunday. In fact, oh, if I'm, if I'm the Packers, I rest another week. Look, I picked them preseason, and I, so I'm not worried about it. But well, no one's here's the thing with the NFC. Nobody's really pulling away right now. Philadelphia is, is, is pretty good. They're beatable. Um, San Francisco's banged the hell up. Uh, Detroit. We'll see how the next couple weeks go. They, they haven't looked like the Detroit team last year. The NFC's wide open. And you're not buying the Vikings at all. At not yet. Time. I got to see more. You, you got to show me this. I, I, I need. I would really honestly need an eight game sample for I'm really buying this thing. Don't forget, don't forget the same X team won 13 and 4, uh, 13 and 4 a couple years ago. With a minus four uh, uh, point differential, so let's also keep keep perspective there when it, when it comes to that. So, but you know what? I like Green Bay in this game. I think they'll they'll continue to get the rock to Josh Jacobs, and I, I just like I love the roster around Malik Williams. Malik Willis, rather, give me the Packers here in a uh, well, it's not an upset, it's a favorite. So give me the Packers when you're and a slightly covered too. Also, I think the Packers come to earth here. I I need an eight game sample for I believe in the Vikings overall. All right, next one here. We have the Steelers at the Colts. The Steelers are one and a half point favorites. The over under is 40, Zach. Uh, this is my game of the week. Mm. This is the easiest money I see all week. You can be simple. You can take the Steelers. You can be even simpler and safer and just take the under. Because there is no way Anthony Richards will even lead one drive that results in a touchdown against the Steelers. So, give me the under. Yep. I am with you as well, too. This is the easiest under. This is, I, I'll go so far and say, as you like to say, this is my mortgage bet of the week. Love the under here. The fact that it's this high, honestly, is pretty shocking. Yeah, I have no understanding of that. Yeah, that's way too high. That's a steal. Vegas knows something, though. <laughs> they know something. All right, next one here. Broncos at Jets. The Jets are set half point favorites. The over-under is their nine and a half. Zach? And I can't do it. I want to I wanna go against the Jets, but I can't do it because it is the Broncos. So just give me the under. Jets defense shows up. They'll hold the Broncos. I don't really see the Jets offense scoring a ton of points. So, yeah. Give me, what was it, under 39? 39.5. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Well, I'm taking the Jets straight up. I I, I like what I'm seeing last couple weeks. And, again, granted, quality opponents matter. But Aaron Rodgers played his best game in over three years against New England on on Thursday night football last week. And, And that's including... The last two years in Green Bay as well, too, also. I want you to think about what you just said. Okay. You're saying he played his best game in, in three my opinion. years. In my opinion. Against a shit team. 
well, sh- a decent pa- Pats defense, a shit offensive uh, Patriots Yeah, team. which makes your overall product a shit product. Right. Um, but I feel like the Jets are, starting, are slowly putting together them, themselves now. Um, look, are the Jets a Super Bowl contender? No, I'm not there yet. i got to see them beat quality teams, and we'll see that in a couple weeks to come. But are they a playoff contender? Absolutely. I, I think they're going to win the games they need to win, and they've been doing that. That's why I said this four-game stretch after the opening night loss to San Francisco was, was actually the most important stretch of the year because if they start losing games even here, that's a massive problem. That, so that being said, I like the Jets here to cover. Um, Denver comes to earth after the big win against Tampa last week. Um, give me the Jets to cover some of that points. All right. Eagles at Bucks. Uh, the Eagles are two point favorites. The over under is 43 and a half, Zach. I kind of like the rebound for the Bucks. You, you got embarrassed last weekend. You're getting the Eagles, who, unless they go to Saquon, really look out of sorts as a team. And I don't know how that's possible to go from Super Bowl contender to looking like your whole season hinges on on your running back. So I feel safer taking Baker. Uh, I'm gonna go the way you can take the team Tampa, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go the way. I, I I think Philly. Look, I I don't know the injury report with regards to AJ Brown and Monte Smith. Obviously, Smith took a massive hit in that Saints game. He may not play this week. But that being said, I think Saquon Barkley, after Josh Allen, is the MVP right now in the league. Um, Jalen Hurts obviously struggling a little here and there, but he makes the plays he needs to be need to make. I I, I honestly thought that that winning against New Orleans while early in the year was a could, could be a season defining win for them. I think if that win, if this Eagles team goes off and doesn't lose much more than two games the rest of the year, that Saints game was a defining win because I think if they had lost that game to the Saints, the Nick Sirianni, you know, hot seat rumors would have probably heightened a little bit more after not even six days after losing that game with Atlanta in the way they did. So I think that was a galvanizing win for the, for the Eagles team that was playing a red hot Saints team that needed to win and did it on with uh, did it shorthanded. And I think the Eagles will continue to to uh, find a way to win. So as, as sickening as it sounds to me, because I hate the Eagles, give me the Eagles to win and to cover two points. All right. Uh, how about this game? Bengals, winless Bengals at Panthers. Uh, Bengals are four-point favorites. The over-under is 46 and a half, Zach. Winless Bengals, Zach. Winless Bengals. I would love to see the Red Rifle beat the Bengals. Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I would love to see it. But I'm just going to root for the over in the game. I, I I certainly believe Carolina has a newfound offense with Andy Dalton at quarterback. And I truly... I could easily see Cincinnati hanging 30 against that defense. So just give me the over. The fact you're not picking the Bengals to cover four points tells me you you definitely see trouble in paradise. You lost to the skins. To the old skins. Yeah. I don't know what else you can. There is nothing L- that tells me you're a playoff team. No, no. Listen, it's- Washington, Washington might be better than you think they are. I mean, look, you're you're fans, so obviously. You probably look, you will we'll see. Um, but Washington might be better than you think they are. Do you know how bad our defense is? It's terrible. Yeah. Do you know how bad our run game is? Jane it's Daniels, terrible. rookie of the year. All I know is we still can't find a wide receiver over <laughs> six foot tall. <laughs> um. They got they, they they have to win this game. Uh, Bengals to cover. Bengals in a blowout. Bengals have no choice. Zero and four. Really? We're yeah, not doing man. this. They go zero and four. Jamar Chase might check out for the season. Yep. And then you know they're going to trade him in the off season. She might That's as well. It's going to be a complete rebuild. Yep. Joe Burrow, I think will have a. I, I think Joe. All eyes on Joe Burrow this week. I think Joe Burrow. If if, if you're a fantasy owner. If there's any week to have Joe Burrow on the only fantasy team, I think, in my opinion, this is the week to do it. I think Joe Burrow goes nuts because they have no choice. You get the Bengals to cover four points. If they don't win this game, wow. I think Zach Taylor might be on a hot seat at that point, too, also. Not hot seat, but maybe, you know, in trouble. We'll see. All right. How about Jaguars at Texans? Uh, Texans are currently six and a half point favorites. The over under 45 and a half. Zach, again, winless Jaguars. Well, 
I think there's a chance Sunshine might win, but it's a pretty pretty likely that Houston's not going to cover because they can't do squat right now on offense. All I heard all season, all I, I bought into the hype. Oh, CJ Stroud, he's gonna be top five. He could be, he's he could be an MVP candidate. Look at all these weapons. Guilty as charged. Yeah, y'all, you guys got way ahead of yourself. So, John, you think Jackson won the points? Yes, I am. Sorry, uh, Kyle, if I jinxed your team. <laughs> he also is not his team though. He's a Niners fan, but whatever. Um. Give me Houston. If there's a week to get the Houston offense to get you know rolling again, this week to do it. They got embarrassed by Minnesota last week. I think they'll be seething. I think the Jags dumps dumps of fire is real. I think Doug Peterson's hot seat will get scorching hot after this week, giving the Texans a cover for six and a half points. All right. Next one here. Four o'clock games here. Your team, the Commanders, two and one now at the Cardinals. Uh Cardinals are three and a half point favorites. The over under is fifty. Fifty. Zach. Yeah. Uh, I'm still going to be a pussy. I'm not going to pick my team, <laughs> but I will take the over because I know my defense will give us 30 points. Yeah, I'm with you, too. I, I'm with you, too. I think Colin Murray will. I, I think if, you, if, you're, if you're a fantasy owner, Colin Murray, this is the week to do it. You just start Colin Murray. Um, I like the overs all, too, also. In fact, I, I think you asked me who wins this game. I think Cardinals win this game. I think. Oh, yeah. Commanders do for the letdown here. That's, that's a big win on Monday football last week. I think they'll do for let down here. And you win in Cincinnati. They have, they have to travel out west to Arizona. Eh, weird optics and, there. And if I was a fantasy owner, I would be expecting Marvin Harrison to go off. We have no corners that can cover him. Agreed. Agreed. Um, if Washington wins this game, though, it will show me something. I will say that. It will. But I don't think it will happen. Give me Cardinals. Oh, give me over. Overall, though, the best best over. All right, Niners at Patriots. Is that right? Was it Patriots? At Niners? Wait, wait, is it? No, I'm sorry. I think it's the Patriots at, at Niners. Am I right there? Hold on. I wrote that wrong. Make sure I'm right. Yeah, I was right. Um, Patriots at Niners, rather. Um, Niners ten point favorites over under forty one. Zach. Look. Brock Purdy can put up points when he's got no wide receivers, no running back. It's time to give the dude some some credit. He's legit. He's a top ten quarterback. I think they cover the ten. I'm there with you. Uh, injuries, injuries, and no injuries. I think they have enough weapons to get the job done. I don't think New England will score anything. They just the turbo on offense. Who they're starting this week? Is is Drake going to start? Is, is are we still reset for another week? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um. This could be a, a, a twenty to three game, and they'll still cover. Obviously, um, you know the pass was terrible. They're, they're bottom five team at that, after this week. So, give me San Francisco to cover this spread. Um, I think Rob Purdy will have a field day. And if game. I were the Pats, I would not bring Drake May into this game. So this Going game. against the San Francisco defense, no, no, no. Especially, especially a pissed off one that just got embarrassed by. Yeah. But a, not embarrassed on the Rams, but blowing that, blowing that lead. They're going to be really pissed off. So you don't bring them this week. You leave your set in there. I agree with that 100%. All right. Browns at, at Raiders. Uh, Raiders are two-point favorites. Over-under is 37. Zach. Look, Chris, you, you've been almost completely right on number 31 and 32. You might have to flip them practically, but uh, I think Gardner Minshew is going to pull out the victory. Against Deshaun Watson. Taking Vegas? Yeah. I'm going to go under, though. Throw some points. These teams really can't score a lot. And uh, this is going to be an ugly, grimy, you know, just disgusting game. Old school, you know, football teams, you know, who can't score for shit. Two quarterbacks are hot and cold. Deshaun being almost always cold. Brown's line is horrible. Um, Actually, the Browns win this game, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to, I'm not fair enough to bet that. I'll take the under this one as well. All right. Um, Chiefs at Chargers. The Chiefs are currently seven and a half point favorites. The over under is 39 and a half. Zach. I'll take the under in the game. The Chiefs, the Chiefs have struggled to put up points, and I don't know whether or not Herbert's even going to start. Yeah. So safe bet for me is just take the under. They got your boy Heineke, though. Yeah, I don't uh, care. It's not, ter- not, it's not terrible. That's terrible. That's right, terrible. Not terrible. Yeah. 
It's not as good as Sam Howell, but I think Herbert or not, I think the Chargers on the po- Chargers always get Chiefs problems anyway. Um, so I'll take the Chargers on the points. Chiefs win. The Chargers on the points. A lot of points. A lot of points. A lot of points. Yeah. You know, so all right. Uh Sunday football game. We have the and probably the game of the week. Bills at Ravens. Uh Ravens are two and a half point favorites. The over under is forty six. Zach. Yeah. This is the game of the week. And this will probably determine the AFC cha- the course of the AFC throughout. Yeah. And I think it's the Bills. Ooh. Josh Allen, like you said, has been the MVP so far. And I don't think it, the Ravens are gonna slow him down. So in no way am I being a hater here because Josh Allen is my MVP right now. But they also haven't really played anybody. I mean, I guess Miami week two, some will agree, but you play the Cardinals. I guess it's kind of frisky. The Dolphins, which, okay, whatever. And then, you know, you play the the, the uh, Jaguars this week. So me picking Baltimore to win outright, which I'm going to pick as, as my winner, it's, it's less about Buffalo. It's more about how Baltimore needs this game. It's, it's, it's a desperation game. Their schedule is tough. They have to win these games. Um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking Baltimore to win this game just solely on desperation. This has nothing to do with me how I look at look look at Buffalo going forward. Now, if Buffalo wins this game, I guess a desperate Baltimore team. Yeah, we gotta start start looking at this Buffalo team bigger picture as the best team in the AFC. Um. Especially Kansas City looking very vulnerable. But again, we the Kansas City thing is something we just have to accept until proven otherwise. Because we, we, we've seen this KC team look like this, and then what happens? They still win the Super Bowl anyway. <laughs> so, but that being said, I'm going to take the Ravens here to win because only because of desperation. Um, That's more about the Ravens than about the Bills for me anyway. All right, we got two Monday Night Football games. First one here, Titans at Dolphins. The Dolphins one-point favorites. The over-under is 36 and a half, Zach. I'll take the under. Mm-hmm. And how is it possible that Will Levis is going to be a favorite in a game when all he does is turn the ball over? He has eight turnovers already. Eight turnovers in three games. That shouldn't even be possible. Yeah. The only reason is because the Dolphins don't have a, don't have a quarterback right now. Um, we, at least we don't know anyway. So they Scott Thompson was a quarterback last week. He gets hurt. They're bringing Tim Boyles. He sucks. Well, they they si- Todd Huntley. So Todd, Todd Huntley. Well, I know they signed him to, you know, as, 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 he was the emergency third, third quarterback. Um, I suspect he was starting this week, which I think they should do because right. these can move the, these can move the chains for you guys, you know. Um, and even then, um, I s- still think Miami wins the game. However, I'm taking the under as well too. That's a, that that number's kind of high actually. <laughs> Honestly, three and a half is a, is a high number for this this game where these teams teams are at right now currently because Miami was, wasn't scoring points even with Tua. No, so yeah, under for me as well too. Titans suck; they're terrible. All right, finally, also Monday game, the second Monday game, we have the Seahawks at the Lions. The Lions are three and a half point favorites. The over under is forty five and a half. Zach. Yeah, I like the Lions in the game. All right. Look, Seattle, you're not going to be playing the Dolphins again with a backup quarterback. Exactly. It's going to be a little tougher. Probably not going to be as prepared coming into this game. So, yeah, I like the Dolphins. Uh, the Lions. Or, I mean, the Lions, yeah, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, same here. Detroit. Detroit really comfortably in this game, honestly. I I, I think uh, we're going to see multiple teams, uh, three no teams, go down this weekend. I, I already said that I think at least three, three of, the, of the five teams go down this weekend, and Seattle's one of those teams. Um, look. You can't control who you play. It's a schedule, it's a schedule, and they've done their job. Um, I think Seattle is the worst of the five unbeaten teams. Um, if they win this game, obviously that changes that changes things though, and how I think look at them going forward. But I think Detroit now slow start. They haven't looked really like the same team as last year, even through even through the two wins. Um, but I think I think this is, this would be a win that will really get the ball rolling for this Lions team going forward. Maybe the Lions have covered this game relatively easily on Monday Football. All right. Um, 